You may remember a story we did three months ago about the old Alpine winery in St. Joseph, founded by Swiss immigrant Christian Rugsegger. If you don't, here's a little catch up. I'm standing in front of a house on St. Joe Avenue, just past Krug Park, where from 1894 to 1945 stood the Alpine Winery. Although a part of the house did burn down in the 70s, most of the original structure still exists, and the rest was rebuilt to the original. Mr. Rugsager's great-granddaughter, Darcy Kent, now owns a successful vineyard and credits her great-grandfather for her love of winemaking. Darcy Kent and her family opened operations in 1996 in Livermore, California, just outside of San Francisco. One of the most important aspects of following in her family's tradition was painting the labels for the bottles, something Mr. Rugsager did from the beginning. We also met up with the current owners and asked them about the history of their property. In the middle of those woods is an old cistern, and, and the way I took it was they would um, store the water up there and then they would feed the water down here to the barrels or to the winery, however they stilled um, the wine. Mr. Gatewood then showed us some of the original parts of the home and mentioned that there were rumors of hidden wine casks of original Alpine wine buried beneath his garage. The chaise um, started to big, dig them up but said that they started to deteriorate so they just left them um, left them there so as far as I know they're still there and still intact. But there was something special that wasn't mentioned in the first part of this story and that's where our story begins now. Mr. Gaywood notified Mrs. Kent after the story aired and told her something amazing. So amazing, in fact, that she made plans to fly in from California to see for herself. Oh my gosh. Mr. Gaywood was renovating his basement, and after ripping out a few old closets, he discovered a series of wall paintings that he thought were fantastic. After speaking with Mrs. Kent, the connection was made that these were painted by her great-grandfather, Christian Rugsager. Because that's all, because they were from a town called Frutigen, Switzerland, which is outside of Bern. And, and horse and carriage. Yep, yeah, so I'm assuming this is just something that they knew from there. I'm assuming my great-grandfather Christian painted this, because this is what I was told, but I wonder if his father, Fritz, didn't paint this. I don't know. Well, no one knows for sure, Mrs. Kent believes the room was where her great-grandfather's speakeasy must have been. Because they, this, this was meant to look like it was, you know, actually the room where they kept the wine. And it wasn't. Shoot, it was, it was the, the speakeasy. The next stop was the old Alpine building next to the house, where during the winery days, this was used as a bed and breakfast, a dance hall, and wine tasting room. The memories of her ancestry overwhelmed Mrs. Kent, who respects her family's history and holds it very closely to her heart. And the Gatewood family was more than delighted to be a part of it. I feel like these guys are family. I do. I, yeah. I feel like we have we have a lot in common. Maybe we're even related. Could Who be. knows? It's I mean, St. Joseph. It is. But we'll <laughs> That's keep true. we'll keep the history really going, <laughs> and we'll try to find yeah. out more. Get up that, to the wine sister. Just gives, uh, seriously yeah. gives me chills. But let's not forget about the rumored buried wine casks on the property. Although no excavation took place while we were there, it's a topic the Kents and the Gatewoods might speak more about in the future. I, you know, it's up to these guys, but my husband wants to, to have an excavator come <laughs> and try to dig those up. You know, uh, so we will that's do, up to you guys. We will do anything for their family or for history just to figure out what what It'll actually took place. We should, we should yeah. do it then. For two families coming together to share in something so fantastic, there was only one last thing to do, a wine toast. Cheers, Cheers. to the Alpine Winery. Jeremy Lyons, Fox 26 KNPN. <laughs>